day back on trail um it's 10 30. um got up some morning early like course um went over to the free breakfast it was just cereal i just wasn't feeling it should have probably had four or five bowls but just wasn't feeling it went to a cafe and had biscuits and gravy and it was actually fairly decent biscuits and gravy you could actually taste pepper without adding pepper um went to the store again i decided to get me some new water bottles the other water bottles i've been trucking since day one mexico and i think a couple of them actually went with me in uh oklahoma and arkansas back in april so uh yeah went back to the motel room and i was watching night court repeated you know of course they're all repeat episodes but um yeah kind of just hanging out and the next thing i know it's like man i gotta get my stuff packed and ready to go um that's the funny thing about town you know you go there to try to relax and it's just like rush everywhere to get everything done and then boom you're back on trail and to stay in town more than one night my gosh just one night's 150 bucks so i was like geez so but yeah back on trail i don't even know what we got going on today um lovely uh very nice lady uh jill she works out of the hospital she uh picked me up and i arranged for her to pick me up because she was heading to bucks lake um so yeah um neat little town neat little town um but um yeah so rocking and rolling and jimmy and jamming How's it going? All right, I got a view for you. We're at 6,706 elevation. Um, it's pretty cloudy. I've been hearing that there was a fire back by Gold Lake where we were at two days ago. So there is a fire behind us. So yeah, not a lot of view. Pretty, pretty cloudy, smoky. Not cloudy, smoky. I can't smell anything, but yeah, there was fire just right behind us a couple days. So, all right, Jimmy and Jamming, rocking and rolling. Hey, how's it going? All right, it's hot. There is some shade, but yeah, it's hot. Hey, let me flip you. Free tent. With an air mattress. Guess somebody uh, thought that uh, hiking was an awesome, awesome idea and then changed their mind. Alrighty, Jimmy and Janet, rocking and rolling. Six thousand nine hundred and six. Got a view for you. Nice lake there. And then there's a small lake over here. This lake, it's got an island. I think that lake's Silver Lake. Yeah, I think that one there is Silver Lake. Um, yeah, Jimmy and Jamin, rocking and rolling.
All righty, 6,266. A lot of dead trees, a lot of stuff gone, a lot of smoky. Uh, I can't smell it, but you can see it's pretty cloudy. There's the trail we're heading. So yeah, got a good breeze. It's, there's not much. You got spots where there's no shade. Um, there is a resort coming up, seven miles, six and a half, seven miles. Uh, resort, restaurant, general store. The restaurant closes at seven. It's four. At least I think they close at seven. It's reading all the comments on the Far Out app, and man, it's kind of like they make up their own hours as they go. So, um, yeah, so I don't know. Kind of not really interested in a burger, but hey, who am I kidding? Um, yeah, General Store, cold soda. So, I don't know. It's That's at like 2,500 elevation, so we're like going to be dropping here at some point. But anyway, we'll see what we get. Other than that, I'm not really for sure about camping because, you know, right here we got a good breeze and there's a lot of burned trees. So, that's going to be kind of skeptical on uh, camping. So... All right, let me flip you one more time. You can just see there's a whole whole bunch of dead ones right there. So, yeah, but Jimmy and Jamin, rocking and rolling. fire area Whew. A little, there was a few blowdowns in the fire area one part wasn't bad it was just yeah. not very very shady um, not a lot of shade um, but um, yeah a lot of sun I got some sun on my legs and I was even using sunscreen all day I uh, went down to the river which is not too far from me just down the hill there's the river it's really rocky down there but I got down there and rinsed off a little bit um, but yeah, other than the fire, damn, you know, the fire area we were in, just kind of upsies and downsies, and then we went from 5,566 elevation down to 2,324 and five miles, just dropped. Switchback city, just dropping. Um, I'd sleep. I can't think of what the town or the, uh, there's a town right here, and I can't think of it. It's actually now an RV. It's more or less like a resort now. A lot of people there that are like live in the area. Um, but yeah, there's an old motel, there's some cabins, some RV parking. Got in there about 30 minutes, 35 minutes before the kitchen closed. Got me a bacon cheeseburger and a soda. Um, so yeah, that was a cool deal. Um, yeah, neat little place. A lot of antiques and old stuff in there. Um, but yeah. 23 mile day. That was a good day. We got on trail like a 10, 10.30, so um, but yeah, the hotel, then there's the river 
Um, and then there's a highway, and then I'm kind of up on a hill. Um, man, I don't know. There was uh, one hiker, Slim Jim. He roll. He, me and him been bouncing for the last two weeks, off and on. He's from Korea, I believe. Um, he started May 9th. He said he's hiking slow, and I started May 5th. So I don't know, but um, he's has never got a hotel yet. So I can't say that. Man, I enjoy my hotel. And then I don't know, two or three more hikers just rolled in here. So. I got my fly on. Um, it's gonna be a hot night. Um, but yeah, we'll be up and rock and rolling, Jimmy Jamming tomorrow. It looks like it's gonna be just mostly uphill tomorrow. So, because you know we dropped, now we gotta get out of the whole valley and get back up on hills. So, well, anyway, I'll stop blabbing and talk to you in the morning.